Pierre for Green with his defeat of John H. Tracy, the former world welterweight champion, and his own brave but unsuccessful attempt on the world title. Last night, Green opened his 1978 campaign with a scheduled 10-rounder against Roy Johnson of Bermuda, knowing that in a fortnight's time, he was due to go in again at Wembley for the Commonwealth title against Clyde Gray of Canada. Green's task last night was not only to win impressively, but above all, to steer clear of any injury which might jeopardize that Wembley date. Green back in the ring again after five weeks, five months rather, and good to see him back. One of the most exciting fighters uh, Britain has today. Former British and European light welterweight champion, now of course fights as a welterweight and looking for a chance again to fight for the W's WBC welterweight title. It's currently held by Carlos Palomino, the one man who uh, constitutes the blot on Green's record. Only one defeat Green's had, and that was at the hands of Cal Carlos Palomino's left hook. Roy Johnson of Bermuda, not too well known in this country, although he boxed here as an amateur. Brought in here as a late substitute only last week for Zovek Barayas of uh, the United States. Barayas injured. So in comes Roy Johnson of Bermuda, who used to fight uh, out of Canada, and now boxes out of Philadelphia. Johnson, 29, five years older than Green. Green, of course, the fighter who goes to war with all his opponents. Not only must Green win this fight, but he must stay out of trouble. He must escape injury because in a fortnight's time, he's due to fight at Wembley for the Commonwealth title against Clyde Gray of Canada, a man who incidentally stopped Johnson, tonight's opponent, in eight rounds in Toronto 15 months ago. Johnson in this opening round and there's a bad cut now on Johnson's left eye in the first two minutes the left eye of Johnson has opened up in a very bad cut indeed over the eye pouring blood so Johnson walking in throwing punches has walked into trouble out of the ring you'd never know when green he comes straight back and resumes the old attack almost threw himself out of the ring Johnson head from green absolutely no doubt about that rubbed his head deliberately into Johnson's face where there's already a cut so that's a bitter opening for Johnson this 29 year old Bermudan really has got a rather nasty cut above that left eye. Dave Boy Green, 24, from Chatteris in Cambridgeshire, with tremendous support here tonight. He walked into this ring to tremendous applause. The place must be half full of his fans. Seconds out, round two. the handicap and despite the fact he might well get it opened up again walking in head first wide open heads again and he's over wrestled to the ground rather than punch good right hand from green oh one low one from green very low at that the eyes opened again a lot of blood flying about well green has every reason for wanting to get this over fast with another fight coming up in a fortnight's time blood 
running down the side of Johnson's face rather than into the eye. Punches raining in from everywhere from Green. Wide open Johnson to head and body. Green can find him anywhere he likes. And the Bermudan already slowing down under this onslaught from Green. And now Johnson looking totally overmatched. Green smothered in the other man's blood. A lot of blood coming from that eye now. Sid Nathan giving Johnson every chance. to see how he can go much further with a cut like that still catching green with the occasional punch which is why Nathan's letting it go Sid's had another good look at it good brave bite by Johnson got a hand it to him Green's done two rounds of very hard work and he hasn't uh, put the man down. Johnson slipped at one point but he wasn't really put down by the punches of Green. But Green putting everything into this to try and get this over quickly and keep himself in fresh condition and uninjured for the next fight in a fortnight's time. Seconds out, round three. Johnson fought in this country in the Edinburgh Commonwealth Games of 1970. Didn't do very well. Also fought in the Munich Olympics. Again, didn't do well. So 24 pro fights, 18 wins. Every now and again, Johnson pops out that left hook and catches Green with it. Just the thing that Palomino did to him. surviving the eye bleeding again bleeding badly again by Green and Sid Nathan, very rightly, tells him about it, quite deliberate. Second, second warning he's got for that. Green now labouring a little bit. Johnson survived yet another round. You wouldn't have given him much chance of getting this far at one stage, but now three rounds completed. Still there. The eye is still bleeding badly. And this was the butt that caused uh, Sid Nathan to have another word with Green. Walked straight in with his head. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Went in head first. Second time he's done it. Second down. Round four. looking anything but convincing that the man at his mercy more or less now for three rounds never actually put him down with a punch remember 
Green's been out of the ring for five months. Green is throwing them wide from both sides, but they're not getting home with any real potency. Otherwise, Johnson wouldn't be there now. The eye bleeding again. take a few counter punches as he tries to come in always taking the fight to Johnson but never really making the punches tell not getting the right sort of leverage on him punches to head and body. Still there. That's the one. That was a good left underneath. That really was. Watch the left hand coming in underneath. Really solid left into the ribs. And Johnson, who'd been taking a fair bit of punishment, couldn't survive. That little bit extra, the eye badly cut, all over, and Green, a knockout winner, and ready to fight for the Commonwealth title against Clyde Gray of Canada in a fortnight's time. Well, he finished it well, but it wasn't one of Green's sharpest performances, and he had a further worry afterwards, a damaged right hand. It was x-rayed today, there's no bone damage, and his fight with the Canadian Clyde Grove for the Commonwealth title goes ahead at Wembley on March the 7th. Now, the main objective for Green, of course, is a return match with WBC champion Carlos Palomino, the Mexican-American, who knocked him out last June in his first attempt. Well, as part of all the recent Las Vegas action, in which we had two big fight bills in five days, Palomino made his latest defense of the world title against Ryu Sorimachi of Japan, and in this fight, Palomino issued a powerful warning to any future contender. It's Palomino with his back to us. Sorimachi... Uh, an aging Japanese with uh, a lot of experience. He's the champion of the Orient, but in this seventh round, he's beginning to tire. Palomino well on top. Watch now for Palomino's left hook. There it is. Short, crisp, right to the point of the jaw. And the Japanese spread eagled and clearly is not going to beat the count. That was a tremendous punch to the point of the chin. And when he lets that left hook go, Palomino really is a good-looking world champion. He never was going to beat the count. He tried to. But in fact, he was out for something like five minutes. And that left hook is precisely the punch with which Palomino beat Dave Green at Wembley last June. Here it is again, one into the body, the right over the top, and then that paralyzing left hook. And that really is a tremendous punch from the world champion. And it looks to me very much as though Palomino has come on a bit since he was in the...